The Guam Education Board will soon be advertising the position for DOE superintendent again. But one of the final applicants from the last attempt to fill the position says he is not sure if he will be applying for the position again or not. PNC spoke with Vince Leon Guerrero today about the position, and he said he is keeping his options open for now. I haven't decided yet. I'd, I'd like to see what the, uh, the process is and the requirements are. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be any different. So until then, I'm just going to keep my options open. Leon Guerrero is currently serving as the governor's chief liaison to education and was among the 10 applicants for the position. He and Salvador Avila were interviewed by board members in August as the final two candidates for the position. Board members put both of their names to a vote yesterday, but neither one of them received the majority of the votes. As an applicant, Leon Guerrero says he could tell the board is taking the selection of a superintendent seriously, but he says he's not sure why they haven't been able to come to a consensus on the matter. I'm not sure. Um, you know, uh, I, as an applicant, I su submitted an application. It was uh, considered um, acceptable. I went through a three-hour interview process. I don't know very many positions that requires three hours of intense questioning with, uh, you know, uh, short breaks each hour. Um, so uh, obviously they, they took a lot of time to try to figure out who is right to lead the department. Uh, and so, you know, you got to respect that it is their decision to make and uh, just got to move, move from there. Board member Barry Mead made a motion yesterday to begin the search over again after a board policy is in place to guide the process. The board is expected to meet for a work session on the superintendent selection policy in the next two weeks. Meanwhile, Talin Titano will continue serving as the interim superintendent. Betsy Brown, PNC News.